Hi everyone! So today we're going to get right into it. We're going to make buffalo plaid using some tape that gives you really clean lines. I have tried a few different ways and this is the one that worked the best for me. It's a little bit of a hybrid of the others. So we're going to jump right in. You just paint your board. Um, in this case, this is going to be a black and white uh, buffalo plaid. So I painted the board white with the red buffalo plaid. You're going to paint it the red color. So you start by painting it, let it dry. Then you need uh, whatever tape you're going to use. I'm using the wide painter's tape for these stripes, but you can also use the thinner one if you like it. Bear in mind, the thinner the stripes and the blocks, the busier it looks. So you start by, I would have started horizontally, and you start by putting your middle stripe in. You just put where the middle is and then tape off your middle stripe. Put a spacer, tape it off again, put a spacer. So now after that dries, you flip it around and we're gonna do it again. So this time we're not gonna put, um, we're gonna put the first piece of tape on. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. So you really wanna push it down. Miss the edge of that one. I'm just going to make up that corner. And I did it again. Okay. So now we're going to use a piece as a spacer. So you want to make sure your edges are lined up. This is what's going to give you the straight lines. That's our spacer. next piece down and then we're going to pull up our spacer put it down again and this is something you really do want to take your time with you don't want to just rush through it I have to admit since I found this method I've gone a little buffalo plaid crazy and I've been painting buffalo plaid on everything and anything. Um, I'm going to do another video. You'll be able to find it where I buffalo plaid some smaller items. I've, di I've done some Christmas ornaments. A mitten and a stocking and a dog bone. And uh, using the smaller, the smaller tape. And uh, it turned out just as great. So now I ran out of painter's tape, because fair warning, you go through a lot of it. And I actually bought this stuff from the dollar store, and I haven't used it before from the dollar store. So we're going to see how it holds its lines. These are out. Okay, so now we have, so now you have to really, 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 really push all your edges down. And when you think you've got them all down, I'll go over them one more time. And you really want to make sure your paint is dry underneath or you will pull it up. Okay, so that's that. We'll go ahead to get paint. Okay, so for this project, I'm using chalk paint. I'm using the Americana Chalky Finish in the color Vintage, which is the gray color. But you don't have to. You could just as easily use um, acrylic paint. This is just what I have. So I'm just going to take a scoop of it out. And this is just a palette pad that I have. So when you're doing this, one of the most important things, I'm just using an old sponge I have, is you want to take the paint on the sponge and then you're going to take some of it off. And when you're putting it on, you want to, what I do is I go straight down the middle first to get off a lot of that excess paint. Sorry, this is gonna make a lot of noise. And then I go to the edges and you wanna be bouncing up and down, up and down. 
not side to side, that's how you'll get bleeding. So I'm really hoping this tape from the dollar store stands up. I guess we'll see together. Buffalo plaid is something that I really, really like the look of it. And uh, I really wanted to know how to do it myself. And so I just tried a few different things and uh, finally found one that worked for me. And so I hope this works for you. I really like a, a clean line. I didn't want all the bleeding and the rough edges and that's what I was getting with the other methods. Okay. So I'm just watching the texture there. I just don't want it to be too, too textured. So then we're gonna do the next one. So again, down the middle, get a lot of that paint off and then go out to where your paint, your tape is. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay. This is a great project to do. And then uh, once you can make your own buffalo plaid, you can do it on any piece of wood or really anything that you find. And uh, it really gives you some freedom to be able to create some of those great, great uh, Christmas decorations and just the farmhouse style decorations in general. And I'm working on another video where I show you how to make those great farmhouse signs without having to use a Cricut machine to cut out the stencils, where I'm gonna show you how to actually hand paint them and all you need is a printer just to be able to print out the font, the letters that you want. And then you just basically uh, transfer them onto your project and I will show you how to hand paint them. And they look fantastic. And you don't need to have a Cricut machine to do it. If there's any other kind of videos that you guys would like to see, please, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you like this sort of thing, and if you like what I'm doing, I would love it if you would subscribe. I am putting out a video every two weeks, and it'll be different DIYs and crafts, really anything creative. And it would be awesome if I had you as a subscriber. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next step. So we've got this all painted and it's dry. So now we're gonna take our paint and we're gonna cover up the light, the light lines. So we're just gonna take our time and really work on getting that line correct. One of this was one of the problems that I was running into with the other methods is uh, you couldn't tell where you were taping, and my lines weren't coming out perfectly square, they weren't lining up. But doing it this way, you can see exactly where the lines are and do your best to get it lined up just so. And I'm very impressed with this dollar store painter tape. It's very sticky. Much more sticky than the frog tape that I've used. I just didn't have uh, I didn't have any tape yesterday, and uh, 
I didn't really want to run to Home Depot where there's a dollar store just around the corner, so I went there. But this is actually turning out to be quite good. And so this is going to be our third coat. And so I should have mentioned, you can either use three colors of paint. So your base coat being white and then two shades of gray, I guess four, and then the black as your final. Or I've also done it where you just use one shade of gray. So white for the base, one shade of gray for both sets of stripes, and then black. And they both worked out fine. Okay. So again, really gonna get this down. Okay, now this time we're gonna be coming with black. It's going to, uh, with, I, I don't know why I find the black is the hardest color to get not to bleed. So again, we're gonna take off a lot of the excess and we're gonna go down the middle. over and I'm not looking for that solid color but again that's just my preference but you do want to make sure you get into the corners and the edges as much as you can Okay, so we have the black done. Now, the moment of truth. How did my dollar store tape hold up? And did I get my line straight? Are we ready? Oh, looking good so far. Now, if I was doing more than one project at once, I would probably reuse this tape again. Wow, this dollar store tape is good. Wow, good line so far. Okay, so there's the first layer. All right, here we go. Looking good. So here it is. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Look, we have good clean lines. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. This is a great method. Everything lines up. Would highly, highly, highly recommend you try it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will answer you. Definitely give this a try. This is a fantastic way to do buffalo plaid and get perfectly straight lines every time. Try it. All right. Thanks so much. 